Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. This is going to be a weekly prediction, love, life, and career for this week coming up. So sit back, get some popcorn, we'll see what drama <laughs> shows up in your love life, your regular life, everything else going on. Just keep in mind some of the messages may or may not happen for you. Uh, Come back at the end of the week and you'll find out, okay? Um, this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And I hope you guys had a great weekend. And also personal links, everything you need to know. There's a link in the description box below this video. Okay, you guys. So, and I do have an announcement at the end of the reading here, so please stay tuned. All right, let's get into this, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What can Virgo expect this week coming up in love? Okay, so you have the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> so Virgo, that's you in your own story here. Um, now you could also be have a connection with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but it looks like you're trying to assess something for the week ahead. Okay, so you got your mind, you're preparing. Wow. Okay, right when we needed it, you have a decision to make. I think some of you. Um, you could be looking at a past relationship, deciding if you want to go forward with that relationship or what to do about it. Um, you could have recently met someone. Um, I feel like you might be... Uh, you got the chariot here. Okay, so... Hmm. Try it. Yeah, this looks like Virgo. I kind of feel like um, there's Gemini Cancer also. There's a little element here of whether or not you are either going to go visit somebody or ask somebody to visit you. This is a lover. Okay. Um, let me see. Now, you might get invited out also this week as well, and you might be trying to decide whether or not to go. Okay. Let me see what else is going on here for love. There is something here, though. I do feel like you may get a message, see something online, or get a text message or a call. Someone that your twin flame, that that heart-to-heart -heart person, you know, the one that you just adore, and the one who adores you is going to be making their move towards you this week. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's the devil. Ha, 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 ha. So it's definitely a twin flame. Um, there's, there's, I'm hearing something's not over. There's something is not finished. And I don't know if that's with you or with another person, but it looks like there's a Capricorn as well. It looks, Virgo, like um, somebody just cannot let you go, and you cannot let them go either, okay? Um, for sure. Now, for others, there is some type of predictive message where um, somebody is just really attracted to you, um, really feeling your energy, um, wants to come see you, or will be reaching out. You know, this could be past, present, future. I'm just going to put it right there, Virgo. And uh, there's like a real strong magnetic attraction happening here. All right, let's get some clarifying cards. Okay, for some of you, okay, you got the Ten of Swords. Some of you, well, it looks like there's a betrayal here, but also a surrendering to love. Okay, wait, clarify, clarify, finish clarifying. Something ended. Okay, so the King of Wands. So for some of you, there was a relationship or that had ended and it looks like um, going forward, there is some kind of, um, I feel like there's a king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And mostly it feels like this person um, is just coming after you, like just wants to like, get together with you or be together. Virgo, I'm going to have to say, like, there's definitely a decision being made here weighing some options about another person going forward so i feel like you're gonna hear because the six does represent some type of communication it can be reconciliation i feel like this week going forward you are going to hear from someone uh, fire sign energy could be um, sun moon rising or venus um, 
whatever their sign is, this this person shows up, or it could be, like I said, um, another earth sign. This person, there's a lot of thinking, there's a lot of decision, weighing some options here, even though something's over, it's just not done. I feel like someone doesn't want something to be over here. And I feel like there's going to be um, some type of communication between you and another person here where uh, somebody wants to come and, you know, either invites you to go be with them or asks you to come be, um, or asks to come be with you, okay? So you might be at a distance to this person, might not. It could be just like, will you meet up? Can we meet up? Getting in the car. Fargo, you might be kind of like, uh, you don't know. You're just, you get the message and you're kind of like, hmm. I don't see you reactive, but I do see you're kind of like, thought this thing was over. Four of Wands. Okay. Looks like no. It looks like something's not over. And, um... And, you know, this person also may have ended something with someone they are with or were with. And that situation comes to an end. Okay, Virgo. So as far as love goes this week, I do feel like a big decision is being made in regards to love, in regards to a relationship, a twin flame, at times toxic, at times not, a little bit of back and forth. Whatever the situation is, um, there's a reunion for sure. Okay, or coming together with someone. Now let's take a look at just your life in general. So let's see for this week. The Hierophant is here. Okay. You're definitely going to be making a decision this week about your career. Okay, about your work. Um, how you can make more money. I feel like some of you are going to be kind of contemplating whether or not to take a job offer because it's coming in or whether or not to seek employment elsewhere. Um, some of you might decide that you're going to leave the 9 to 5 and go do your own thing and, you know, become an entrepreneur. Yeah, you've got the page of wands. There's a lot of excitement in regards to your... Um, now, did I say life? Because it looks like we're doing career. So we're going to go with career. We'll do life at the end. It looks like there's a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, receiving a loan, applying for a loan, starting up a business in your career. Some of you, look at this. Yeah, see the cards are just kind of saying this is the way it's going. Um, whether or not to invest in, in a company or to invest in, you know, you could be dealing with your stocks or cashing out on some money, 401ks as well. I definitely feel like you're in the market to capitalize <laughs> this week, either on your own skill set or um, leaving one corp, going to another, um, or going off on your own, or taking a job, a new job, yeah, with um, some of you. It could be a hospital. It could be... Um, government position as well okay just hearing not a lot of money there but you know some of you might be um yeah this is all about your career i feel like you're, you're getting like some ants in your pants virgo this week about taking maybe some of your savings and investing some of it somewhere you know you gotta spend money to make money so with all this pentacle energy it looks like a surefire a, a good deal is something that really gets you excited about investing in. Let me see. Okay, there you are, Virgo, King of Pentacles. You are like all business minded this week as far as like work goes, you know, your career. <laughs> Virgo, that's you got that down pat. No need to worry about you. You will find a way. Um, Virgo will be the one to like one week pump gas at the gas station. Well, only in Jersey and Oregon that we pump gas. So just pretend you're from these states. But you'll be the person who's like, you know, filling up somebody's gas tank. And then the following week, you'll own the gas station. Like that's pretty much how it works for you, Virgo. And I feel like your mindset is, you know, how can I capitalize on my career to make more money or to climb this ladder of success 
Um, you definitely have a beautiful new money opportunity coming in this week as well, and you may be receiving a raise. It's definitely a new job for sure. There's promotion, there's investment, new income. So this week looks really great for your career and your income. Okay, now you have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is overall life messages. Okay, so I feel like somebody's going to be paying you back that money that's been a long time coming. This is giving you some money that I feel like you have been waiting for. It's either paying you back or just this money that you've been sitting on waiting for. Um, it's been a while. It's definitely coming. Okay. Some of you have some serious creative juice flowing through your veins also this week. I see I see some you're gonna start seeing results of some things that you've done previously. Okay, whatever that might be. Now the wand is very physical, so you may be um, maybe some of you have joined a gym a while back and it's starting to pay off you're seeing the results of that okay definitely cool i have to stop saying okay 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 <laughs> okay <laughs> so there's definitely going to be some growth uh, something that you invested in or you invested in yourself or you paid for it could be a fitness trainer or maybe you put money into renovating a home um the money definitely, though I see like a payout, and it's a long time coming. Okay, so this is awesome. This is like, this is what you want. Like some, this could have something to do with a new project that you started, or this week you decide to actually, like you've been sitting him and hawing, thinking about whether or not to invest in some type of new project, whether that's your physical self, um, your emotional, mental, spiritual, whatever it is in your life. Um, you've been... I feel like for a while, maybe just trying to figure out, should you put your money towards this? Because Virgos are, and that's what they do, you know, they kind of think about it first before they, they don't just get crazy um, about some new kind of opportunity that's going to give you growth and results. So I feel like you do it this week, for sure. Let's see, what else do you have? Okay, you have the Emperor and the Queen of Cups. Okay, there's an emperor and a queen of cups who are, I want to say, um, getting, getting in balance, getting things, making things, I don't want to say right, but bring, there's peace between an emperor and a queen of cups. Yeah, there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of uh, defensive, you were involved in something, and I feel like it was some kind of conflict, or you were defending either an emperor or a queen of cups, or um, trying to help a couple sort out some stuff. And it looks like this week, it looks like they actually there's like resolution. Now, you, maybe you were a mediator for something. Um, could have been your brother and sister. Could have been like a, a parent and a and a and a child you know it's two people but one of them is pretty stern head of household type father type um you could have also been in a situation with someone that there was a lot of arguing or defensive energy and it looks like there's peace this week looks like you guys are gonna like temper things and I don't want to say compromise, but it's like agree to disagree. Uh, call a truce is what I'm feeling. Show me this emperor. Yeah, it looks like the emperor. Yeah, look at that. The world and judgment. It's like bygones be bygones. Like everything's going to be okay. There's reconciliation. So there's like um, forgiveness. There's healing and some kind of um, struggle. It could be a boss, you and a boss. Um, boss lets you go. You know, and, and you're just kind of like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yep, there was your sign. Um, let me see here. Father figure giving you some money. You find out, or you, you like there's a will. You get some money coming in. There's peace in the family situation. Everything gets sorted out this week. The world, there's like a new chapter here, lessons learned. Um, there's also immigration. Someone is going to be um, 
coming from afar and staying for a while, they're saying, as well. Gets approved for maybe like a, a visa or something like that. Um, there's some good stuff happening here this week for you guys. Seriously, let me see. The only negative thing, really, that I saw was the Ten of Swords and the Devil card. But in, in, in context with the other cards, I don't feel, and along with the message, I don't feel it's really negative. I just feel like, for love, it's something that you might have thought was over or was done. I feel like there's definitely on another person's side that they just like can't let you go definitely cannot let you go there's a, a very strong physical and something might have ended is like coming back to being reborn again um just want to see this judgment okay yeah i just you know okay i definitely see good news coming to you this week you know in just your life in general i feel like um you definitely have uh, I don't know if it's a family situation or co-workers or um, some friends or um, something along the, those lines. There was some discord. And it, it feels like um, after some time of defensiveness, nobody's talking, everybody's kind of ghosting each other, nobody's committing to, to apologies or trying to work things out. I feel like things get worked out this week. And people start talking again, and there's peace, and everybody's just kind of like, all right, let's just, you know, let bygones be bygones. Let's sort it all out. Everything's going to be fine. I like the energy. I, I like it for this week going forward. Let's see what other messages. What messages do you have, Virgo? Romance Angels. Okay. So you have Retreat. True Love. And let your friends help you, okay? So you definitely have a true love situation happening here this week, for sure. Uh, this is the romance of a lifetime. Retreat, disconnect from the world. I feel like there's going to be a little bit of time spent with someone in private. Or no one's going to tell another person about this situation. And um, maybe just some very a close friend might find out about a love situation. That you are rethinking because somebody comes back into your life or somebody new shows up here um or is like kind of re-energized the relationships re-energized and i feel like you're not going to say anything really to anybody you might tell one person you know and just kind of just be like hey I'm, this is where i'm going to be here's my number just here's where i'm going that kind of i don't know picking up that energy of letting somebody know where you're going to be going this week Okay, for some of you, that is a reconciliation with a past person. All right, what other messages for Virgo? Does Virgo need to know? Okay, well, fear and anxiety showed up in the revert or sideways. So this gives me a sense that there is a little bit of fear and anxiousness this week, but it looks like you have it under control. You're not letting it get the best of you. Okay. Um, because getting the best of you would pretty much put it like that. But it looks like you are turning this thing around, whatever your fears and anxieties might be. And it looks like you are managing or will be managing it very well this week. I'm not saying there is anything to be fearful and anxious about, but maybe you have a struggle with that at times. So it looks like you're managing it well. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> Okay, you also have highly logical male. Okay, let's see what's going on with the highly... Oh, that could be somebody. <laughs> oh, so highly logical male and committed love relationship. Okay, so maybe that's what your fear and anxiety is about. <laughs> okay, um, some of you might be highly logical men, right? And... You struggled with getting into a committed relationship or weren't sure about a committed relationship with anyone and um, or even if you wanted that in your life, maybe it brought a lot of anxiety and fear to you, um, especially if you're a lot more introverted. Um, but it looks like you are coming out of your shell, the men, uh, Virgo men, kind of coming out of your shell a little bit, being, a, and your logic is kind of helping you 
with that because your your head's like, hey, what's the worst that could happen? You know, um, like your positive thinking about, yeah, you're just kind of reasoning your way through <clears throat> the struggle of getting involved either for the first time or again. Um, or maybe you were playing with the idea, or you always just thought, no, not me, not for me. Uh, I don't think I can do that, or I'd just rather date and keep it just surface with people. Looks like you might be considering this now, finally, and uh, squashing, squashing your fears and anxieties about that. And for the fem uh, those who like the males, I should say, God forbid if I, I don't know what to say anymore, female, male, I don't know who I'm talking to, but... Um, I'm just going to say for the ladies, there's definitely um, a very logical male showing up this week and ready for love, man. <laughs> um, ready for love. And this male is squashing his fear and anxieties about a committed love relationship with you. And um, it's interesting because highly logical male males are generally, um, you know, they're, they they come from the head first before they come from the heart. They logic and reason everything out. This might be someone um, that shows up this week. You'll recognize them by their emotionless bones. They're more heady, the more verbal, the more analytical, the more logical. Okay, um, And this person, I feel like, just as I was saying for the males, has had a struggle with committed love relationships maybe they're an introvert or they're they've had a lot of fear of anxiety or they've always been a bachelor or bachelorette i want to speak to the ladies too and yeah that's changing so there you go that's happening this week for you and oh there's a good thing good news about money virgo good news about money that's what i'm saying so you're definitely going to hear something like i said it could be money a career new job new investments um could be hitting a lottery of some sort or finding some extra money in your coat pocket. And the queen of dropping my cards. The queen of it. Okay, so you also got future plans and choosing a path. So, yeah, definitely got future plans ahead of you. Um, needing to make a decision, whether that's in love, life, career um i feel like you're going to be faced with a couple of different paths for your future that you're going to be making now that's the second time the arguments and separation okay some of you this is um your path is to separate from someone because of a lot of arguing and um you need your some of you are making some plans separating yourself from someone um you're choosing a different path. You're not staying and fighting. You're not arguing with anyone. That's a different path for you, Virgo. Okay? Somebody else could be doing that too. If you're trying you're like trying to argue with somebody, I feel like that person is like, you know what? I'm still going to make plans with you, but I'm not choosing to stay in this argument. I'm going to choose a different path. And some of you are 100% getting a sweet text message from your twin soul. Your twin flame, your soul flame, okay? Communicate your love to the divine. Be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another. Even when times are tough and seem back and forth, this love is meant to be. And yeah, it's time to reconcile this week. So you're either going to be hearing from that person this week, or you're going to be reaching out and they're going to be hearing from you. Okay, Virgo. Let's just get a couple of messages of love. And then um, I'm going to close it out because I have to get over to my other site and get that other video up. Also, I just want to tell you guys, we have, I think we are over $2,000 raised between my two campaigns. So please do click the link in the description box below or the link here for the fundraiser for OurRescue.com or... Uh, Rescue Kids Now, which is my website for um, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Um, it's the campaigns are running to it's a fun they're fundraisers to raise money to stop the child trafficking and to help find these missing and children 
uh, these missing children. And uh, yeah, any amount you guys can give. Um, my family asked me what I wanted for my birthday. I said, just donate to my fund. I don't need anything else. Let's just try to get these kids. Save these children. That's all I care about. So, yeah, you guys, if you can do that, any amount, I don't even care. Don't, uh, donate a couple of coins. Drop a couple of coins in the coin slot for me, will you? And this would be great. And I would greatly appreciate that. All right. Other message for you, Virgo. You have support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. This week especially, Virgo. That's the second message you got regarding that. So this week especially, lean on your inner circle. You're going to need it this week. I'm not exactly sure why, but get your ducks in a row with these people that are there for you. Okay. There is someone who is unavailable to meet your needs in a relationship because of an addiction. They're currently active in an addiction. So this could be family, friend, lover. You know who this person is. If someone's not currently able to meet your needs, could be a boss. Um, whatever the situation is, consider that. I feel like that's a strong message. Consider that the reason you're not getting your need met with someone, whatever it might be, is because someone is completely trapped and active in their addiction and that puts you uh you're not first priority okay and if that's your situation and you're understanding that then um take a look at that there's nothing you could do about that and this person is they're just they got yeah they got, they got some bad juju on them okay you also have past life love again some of you like i said there's a past life uh, love situation happening here. For someone you feel like you've known forever. Okay, also children. So some of you hmm, might have a might have children with a past life love, or there's a, a connection to children with a past a past life type of lover as well. Um, for some of you, this is an energy of like I feel like you guys. Um, you and a past person maybe you met as children that person's going to be showing you up showing not showing you up showing up this week um, someone that you knew who was a past life love when you were children when you long like when you were ch when you were a child um, yeah this is very significant this week Virgo um, it could be that person who's coming in um, a past life love might want children you know, past life love is just someone that you connect with or that you connect with where it's the soul recognition, okay? Um, could be reincarnated, all that jazz. Okay, let's see. There's some kind of connection to children. Okay, and you also have go slow. Take time to get to know each other, I'm hearing. So you don't have any regret because somebody wants to go slow. They have regret and remorse for the way they treated you. And, or that could be your energy, Virgo. Okay, so this, like I said, this is a weekly prediction reading, so I'm going to leave that strictly right there. And then tomorrow I will be back with your charms and all of the other good stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys don't forget I am running. Here's the announcement for the personal readings. I have a discount, 45-minute discounted reading for the month of August. So definitely go check that out if you want to book a reading with me or brandy we're both available and i'm also i updated my facebook page um i have a <clears throat> an actual page i'm trying so you can follow me on facebook the link will be in the description box below and there's also um a regular page business page that you can follow me as well on there if you want to leave reviews or if you just want to check out all the specials and all the stuff that i have upcoming announcements and stuff like that all right you guys so yeah i will see you all back here tomorrow have a wonderful evening and love yourselves love each other make good choices virgo and i will see you all back here tomorrow Take care. Bye.